What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Avowed at the Xbox Showcase. So this one seems pretty obvious, I think, to be there. Uh, this one is a little bit different than we talked about Indiana Jones a few weeks ago. So Indiana Jones is in that weird spot where it's also been quite a while since it, but also from what we know of that game, they had just started development. Like the trailer went live, maybe they started development three, four, five months ahead of time. Avowed. I do believe is different about in terms of even like the release schedule, right? It's supposed to come out, well, ideally sooner than Indiana Jones. Now there's still some up and downs of like when it could actually release. We'll talk about that a little bit in this video, but I do think we'll see it at the showcase. It kind of needs to be there yet again. Don't want to jinx it too hard because I said a lot of things need to be at the PlayStation showcase and uh, I don't think I was wrong. I think I just kind of set myself up to get severely disappointed when it wasn't there. But no, this game has been years since we've last seen it this game's supposed to most likely release in 2024 remember i think there was even back and forth rumors of early in 2024 does it try to push it extremely early is this a late 2024 game but i think at worst you show gameplay you show a trailer i mean look we're at the point with this game where we've seen about what one minute one minute 20 of footage for it the stuff that we know about the game we probably know a little bit more for job postings than we do for the actual game itself we know the setting we know a little bit of how you'll fight but then in terms of like everything else, you can look at job postings for seemingly a day-night schedule. That seems to be something that's going to happen in the game. You can get a few bits of information from that, but not all that much. So to me, I kind of think we need like the whole thing, almost like a Spider-Man 2 situation, but obviously maybe not that much uh, for an Xbox perspective. Starfield is the most important thing. But that's, you know, the Bethesda showcase, I think, will be largely on that. For this, I think you just simply do a couple minutes trailer just show the game again updated you know two years later i believe 2021 is when we last saw it and then some sort of you know gameplay presentation i think makes sense i guess maybe depending on when the game comes out next year see one thing they're going to have a little trouble with is at the end of this presentation what do you show do you, do you show a year do you show a season with a year i think they probably just say 2024 if you want to start to get into like you know the nitty gritty maybe you say like holiday 2024 or fall 2024 normally you know in these trailers right you're not going to have like quarter one you're not going to see like q1 that stuff doesn't appear there so and i guess why that's important is if this is like a November, December 2024 game, maybe you don't show gameplay. Maybe this simply is a trailer just to remind people. I don't know how many people need reminding, but just remind people that the game exists. And then you'll see it again, or you would imagine, next year for their thing. I mean, the gaming industry is changing. You're looking at Starfield as a good example, honestly, where games coming out in September really up until this point. I mean, we did get gameplay for it, but we also thought it was supposed to come out an entire year earlier. So maybe flip a coin, maybe flip a coin, because I think it's very possible you could show gameplay, but if you imagine the game's a year and a half out, maybe they say, eh, not exactly ready for it. But yet again, you have people like Jez Corden out there that have talked very highly. I mean, all the stuff we've heard about Avowed has been really good, that anybody who's seen it, that I guess you want to believe that they've seen it, has said the game looks good, in a good state, you know, everything's going well, so... I want to see it. I think I think when you think about the future of Xbox, obviously it's hard to look past even Starfield. It's just so big and it's it's the one, right? But you look to like Hellblade, which I think is probably like a slam dunk, really good game. Maybe maybe better, maybe slightly worse, but I think really good's a good range. But then Avowed, I mean Avowed can kind of be like a sneaky killer kind of game. Because I think this game could be extremely good. It's being made from what one of mine, you know, I think of like Fallout. New Vegas is my favorite Fallout. So Obsidian, you know, Obsidian makes some really good games, some very like diverse games, South Park and Pillars of Eternity and all. I mean, they they do some really crazy stuff. So I'm looking forward to Avowed, and I think kind of under the radar, it could be the best one of this next range of games. Maybe that's controversial. I, I am maybe saying that Avowed could be better than Starfield. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to it almost as much, I guess, because we haven't seen too much of it. Maybe when we see more of Avowed, I'll be you know super pumped for it. But I think it'll be there. I think we'll see a trailer for it. And then gameplay, maybe 50-50. I think if it comes out within the next 12 months, 
you could probably see gameplay. I think that makes a lot of sense. But if we're thinking like a year and a half or, you know, maybe it gets pushed to 2025. Even I mean, it's the gaming industry. Every game gets delayed at least more than, well, one time at least, maybe even more than once, right? Um, so if that's the case, maybe you don't show any gameplay. But I'd certainly like to see, and I think it would, um, you know, help make the showcase even better. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on, and I'll see you all on the next one.